Cheers, guys. Welcome <laughs> to the start of another stream. <laughs> There's nothing in this one. I have it's coffee. Empty. You can see it. It's empty. I got tea. It's the perfect, ooh, perfect tempi. I was afraid it was going to mm. be a little too hot for me to sip, but perfect. Tempi, ooh, yeah. what kind of what kind of tea you got going there? Uh, it is Scottish breakfast from Harney and Sons. Scottish yeah. breakfast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've only heard of the English breakfast. What's well, the difference? Irish breakfast. There's Scottish breakfast and then there's English breakfast. Which yeah, what's the difference? Own kind of taste profiles the irish one is like unfiltered the scottish one is like stronger than an english breakfast obviously mm -hmm. and english <laughs> breakfast is uh you know english breakfast, standard whatever yeah mm -hmm. regular we were having this discussion this is a total nothing um Great. random thing but i was talking to coffee ghost the other day about uh how british people or like the the people think that british food is like you know bland or boring or it doesn't you know is nothing Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't. I think there's lots of great British dishes, and Such then we us. were like, "What the fuck is American food?" Like, obviously, it's hot dogs and hamburgers, but like, mm -hmm. we, we don't have any food. Yeah, no, you we know? really don't. Like, it's kind of like the beef lobby. Is yeah. that the <laughs> Well, the only one I could think of was yeah, barbecue. Like, I feel like that's the only American, yeah. truly American food, and even that obviously is like, well, all food is like from other places. places, but yeah. Yeah, um, the um, there was a really, really good. I mean, Padma Lakshmi's Taste the Nation is incredible for lots of reasons. But um, have you watched it, Brandon, on Hulu? What is it? Padma Lakshmi has a show called Taste the Nation, where oh, kind of like no reservation I, style. Yeah, I, I have not watched it, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, she uh, she goes around like you know investigating different uh different kinds of um cuisines because like everything's immigrant cuisine and mm -hmm. um has an episode all about uh indigenous foods and like how the um you know influence of like colonialism uh turn like what what is a current a contemporary native american dish it's really mm -hmm. interesting good stuff mm -hmm. yeah yeah i want to watch that there is a place here in seattle um that's attached to our natural history museum which is cool Ooh. uh called the it started as a truck it's like off the res truck i think it's what it's called oh that's cool mm -hmm. and they just do like you know fry breads and stuff but um yeah. i've never had that and i did and it's incredible and i want to eat all of it yep they get awesome. into the history of fry bread in the in the episode highly mm -hmm. recommended yeah that's cool that is cool i love that well, folks, uh, we're here on Join the Party Side Quests. Um, it's, a, it's a Thursday afternoon. It's quite nice outside. Uh, yesterday, Julia started our podcast by saying, can we podcast outside today, folks? Because it, uh, <laughs> it was quite nice. Um, and we are here, of course, to remind you <laughs> of the worm of the pod bikini. Oh, uh, as you must know, Julia, I will uh, I will drop that little linky for you so you can walk along. I was, um, I was just about to ask, so you're perfect. You're wonderful. You uh, and if you weren't here last week, don't worry about it. Uh, we're here to <laughs> no, no. make up plot hooks, small adventures, NPCs, and items. And we want your suggestions for what it is that you want to see. Uh, each of us will take turns kind of leading um, a slide as I bring that vision to life in Canva. Um, and hey, if you haven't given us your prime gaming sub for September, now is the time. Please do it. it. Now. Also, it's September, so you can get uh, a hefty discount on either a sub for yourself or a gifted sub for others. So, yeah. And if you get us to a hype train today, uh, Brandon has to watch an additional five minutes of Mamma Mia, which we are figuring <laughs> out how to do yep. on the stream. Yep. We're up to Julia five or ten. Uh, we're, he's only got, well, actually, no, I think he's got 10 minutes. So we'll get, no, I'm at, no, fuck you. I'm at five. Okay. <laughs> and fine. then it doubles every time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. It yes, wasn't going to double now every time, but now yeah. it will, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to put you at 15 if we get to another hype train, but instead you'll end up getting at 20 if we get two levels of hype train today. So. Well, Bray just subbed, uh, with the tier one sub. So. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. And gifted. And gifted it. Yeah. Thank you. Very nice of you, folks. If you would like to keep those bits or subs coming uh, or suggestions, requests for what you want to see from us in side quests, uh, we love your prompts uh, and we want to hear that from you. Yes. Yes. Well, we folks, would. I don't know. Maybe we need some more early banter, but I did have an idea if you want to. Brand oh, yeah, dude. Always cut to right banter it. later. It's okay. That's We're going to banter. Um, oh, wait. Bray's got one too. Oh, all right. Bray's idea. All right. But, okay. uh, so I was listening to this podcast, uh, which um, is apparently a surprise for Julia that people listen to podcasts. No, I'm just saying <laughs> I don't listen to other podcasts because most of my life is just consuming podcasts. So like, 
That's true. Yeah. Or making them. I'm not consuming them because I'm too busy making them. What do you do while you cook? What do you do? I watch um, TV because my TV in my kitchen, like I could see my oh, TV right from my kitchen. Mm-hmm. So it's right there. Well, I was listening to this podcast and I'm not finished with it yet. So I don't know the full story. So forgive me if this turns out badly. Yeah. But there was this guy uh, in like, I think late 80s. When did Germany reunify? Late 80s? Early 90s? Mid, mid 80s. Yeah. Mid 80s? Sure. Um, I don't remember. Where he apparently DuckTales is like a big thing there and in europe in general like the specific specifically the comic books but also the cartoon like apparently like the our generation maybe slightly older than us but our um older millennials are like known as like the ducktales generation Mm -hmm. i don't know why okay sure but there's this criminal guy who did some crimes and he called himself uncle scrooge and i thought it'd be fun to make our favorite cartoon characters criminals and see what crimes they get up to Okay. Um, see That's what very kind of, good. See what kind of things they do. No villains, only good guys. You know. Okay. Great. I'm gonna That's... think about what my childhood favorite characters were. If you just want to share this, uh, this fan art <laughs> I just signed, um, when googling Uncle Scrooge. Uh, That's very good. good. All right. What what character do I want to pull? I mean, as a kid, I watched a lot of Barney, but Barney's mm. terrifying to look at now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Amanda, I can go if you're if you want yes. to think about yours. I Please. mean, mine. I'm going to. In general, I was a Scooby Doo kid growing up. I know that wasn't like I wasn't the Scooby Doo generation because, like, obviously that was like the fucking '60s. But I watched a lot of Scooby Doo growing up. Uh, but I'm not going to pick the whole gang. I'm just going to pick one. Mm-hmm. And can you imagine Velma, the criminal genius that she is, oh. like turning, going bad, Breaking Bad, Velma Breaking Bad is what Julia, I want to do. I'm going to. I'm going to ignore that terrible TV show that came out uh, fairly recently. And (laughs) I'm going to say, what if Velma was like a Hannibal-esque, like Hannibal TV show-esque character where like she was working for the FBI, but was actually the one committing a bunch of the crimes. That's so, hey, Julia, that's so good. (laughs) Very good. I would watch the shit out of Hannibal, the uh, NBC television show but yes. instead of yes. Hannibal it's Velma fuck yeah yeah Very someone also good. suggested yeah, Dexter, Dexter but Velma. Velma I didn't watch Dexter so that's not a point of reference that I can really use but um okay. yeah can you like give right. her a little like um FBI like uh you know I'm getting the line here like as we yeah. speak Amanda oh, you're yeah. amazing thank you reading my mind worry <laughs> oh and you, you <laughs> will grab one thank you for that that's great they kind of do look like each other a little bit a little bit yeah, yeah. from a distance yeah, yeah all right let's have a uh lanyard uh bray okay. gave you a joke in oh or, or was it to lyle i can't tell <laughs> it'd be for anyone very good all right Excellent. Uh, thank you, Bronze Bozel, for the um, confirmation that reunification was in 8990. <laughs> Woo! We did it. Hey, Library Chick, thank you so Hype much. train for is close. Oh, Ooh. man. Gifting a tier one sub. I think if we do one more, Brandon has to watch 10 minutes of Mamma Mia. <laughs> We're getting there. I want him to get to at least the introduction of all the dads. Oh, my God, we have to. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> If you get to two levels, we'll at least get to meet like uh, Colin Firth and other people. God oh. damn it, Bray. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Ten more minutes. <laughs> Brandon said double, not us. Not us. Yeah, yeah. Do you it's said, I think you Hold said on. like. It's still uh, saying the hype train is close. So we need oh, one more. Right. Come I on, think, folks. And then we're good. We need, we need a Prime Gaming sub. We need a gifted sub. We need some kudos. <laughs> yes, yeah. it will be the first ten minutes, Lyle. Yes, we do want to start him off. Yeah, as as God intended. Do uh, channel points stuff. count towards this? I don't know. I don't think they do ah, because uh, those you don't pay for. Yeah, that's true. I, I would love right. to send. Yeah, okay. but uh, it... so Julia, we have Velma here. Mm-hmm. Um, she has her FBI. Uh, uh, God damn it, library here. chick! <laughs> Did we get there yeah. yet? Are we there? Thank I don't you. Think so, maybe. No, not yet. Why? Well, how much do we have to do to get this hype train? I don't know. Come on. All right. Do do I have one? Do I have one? Why did you subscribe? Where's my? Oh, oh, here we go, guys. Wait. Oh, oh. Fuck. Hang on. Let's do it. 
come on, hype train. Come, come on, on, hype train. We close, baby. We gotta get there. All right. I use my Prime Gaming sub. It was so easy, folks. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. too. Uh, but in the meantime, Brandon, what cartoon character would you like to turn into a Robin Hood esque? Oh, oh boy. Figure? Well, it doesn't have to be Robin Hood. Could just be a criminal, a straight criminal. I think a straight criminal. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just fun. Oh, I thought you said for good. Oh no! No, I said no, no good guys. <laughs> no good guys. Or no, sorry, no. Or I no, said bad no villains. I don't know what yeah. I said. Yeah. You said no bad guys because like we don't want to take a bad guy and just make them a make modern a day bad yeah. guy. We want to take a good guy and make them a villain. So. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! Library Library chick, thank just, you. Just two tier one subs. Thank you, and also. Where is our uh, hype train? This you. is bullshit. <laughs> Hybrid books. What did I watch as a kid that was a cartoon that I loved? Um, I loved a lot of Looney Tunes, but that seemed too easy. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Um, I think maybe like Recess. Like, what does like or like a yes Doug or something? About Recess. Know? What is what's oh. the what's the guy's name? What's the uh, TJ? I think yeah, TJ's the main character from Recess. With yeah. His so what kind of, maybe he does yes. school crimes. TJ's you know? school Debt crimes. <laughs> yeah. Is his name Detweiler? <laughs> Detweiler is his name. TJ Det. Oh, no, Detweiler. Detweiler. All right. I, I Look have at that say, guy. I have to say, like, for, for the podcast, for posterity, I did have a major crush on Spinelli, and it explains a lot about me as a person. Can you pull, <laughs> can you just pull Spinelli up for me? Yeah. Aaron, oh, yeah. You got Actually, Spinelli. Spinelli. Yeah, I know. It, yeah. it explains a lot. Yep, that sounds right. It was, you, real, like, was it was a real, it was a real case. Or, yeah, it was a case of both, Brandon. It was yeah. like the "Do I want her or do I want to be her?" situation. Mm -hmm. Look at those this, boots. Because this looks like this looks like Julia. <laughs> it looks like child Julia. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely a look. I feel like I was rocking in like, if not high school, then in college for sure. Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so I think good. school crimes, I think maybe, look, I mean, TJ's, that's just some shifty eyes I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, he that, looks like that, he's going to sell hold me. secrets. Yeah. He, he looks like he's going to sell me, uh, like, uh, stolen watches on the street. Of New yeah, York. he really oh. does, actually. Mm -hmm. I think good. also maybe he does. Okay, so he sells stolen watches on the street, but also mm -hmm. these, these watches, they're not just normal watches. He goes back in time to do time crimes in which he time changes crimes? he changes history in order to make his answers on the test correct <laughs> oh that's a school crime baby mm, okay. Okay. okay interesting interesting this is good all right have all of that now is there any like uh some of the watches you think take them back to the future uh i mean they have to yeah i mean yeah that's just required you know, mm -hmm. that's really good. Wow, I just clicked on a photo of of someone that I assumed to be um, it's Michael Sheen, right? Is the the guy? No, what's his name? Michael. Who, who are you Ooh, referring what? to? Main <laughs> character Back to the Future. Oh, um, Michael, Michael J. J. Fox. Michael J. Fox. Thank okay. you. Uh, I didn't realize there was a musical because I keep clicking on uh, images that I expect to be them, and it is not. I do uh, really want to go see that though. I heard good I things. Know, I know that's, that's really new, right? I it came out like a couple of months ago, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. We got this. My attempt here is to get the hat only. Oh, yeah. Okay. Excellent. And that'll be our little uh, Easter egg about the time travel. Mm, mm, that's Excellent. A good one. Yeah, just put it right over his other hat. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That's the move. I mean, oh. I will also say you could definitely just Google his hat and like a blank one will come up because they sell it as merch. <laughs> Well, well, Julia, she's that's already a lot done the, Okay, she's that's already a lot done smarter. the perfect. Canva I know it's so. it's honestly the Canva is so good. I can't I can't tell you away from it. Listen, guys, we don't we don't have to lie to each other. When Eric was here, he did more with Canva that I didn't know you could in uh in an hour <laughs> than the last. Oh, I love that you put the hat on the hat. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, great. Well, the eyes came back. It's fine. It's uh, nice. Okay, right. so we have also, um, I'm trying to think, yeah, maybe like a special time watch. Now, Brandon, is it a futuristic time one watch. or an old-fashioned one? Um, I think it's an old-fashioned one that when you mm -hmm. pop it open, which we don't have to do, but when you pop it open, uh, it's future. It's future tech. It's deep. Oh, you know? oh, okay. All right. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. 
we're blowing people's minds about the Back to the Future musical in the chat here. Uh, Library Chick, it's real. It exists. I'm pretty sure. Is the soundtrack out now? I don't I'm know. Gonna check that. Tia Tina says that uh, the oh, love sweet. of soundtrack. So, yes. Uh, it's probably not the Broadway version. It's probably the uh, the London version. But mm -hmm. let's see. You I can tell Spotify if version. they sing in British. You can tell that it's the British one. Brandon, you can't tell. So often young Amanda was fooled that uh, an artist was American <laughs> or Canadian when in fact they were British. I've also had this argument with... Um, the Coffee Ghost? The Coffee Ghost. Yeah. Uh, I will say I love Roger Bart, who is the one playing uh, Doc Brown. He's like one yeah. of my favorite comedic Broadway actors. He was like, he was Dr. Frankenstein and Young Frankenstein. He, yeah. um, he was in the producer's movie musical. Mm. Uh, he's, he's just like around and he's like quite good at what he does. And I wasn't the, uh, wasn't the Marty McFly a, a Billy Elliot? Oh, he might be. They So they changed it from the London one. It's a different guy who did it in London versus the one who's doing it on Broadway. So I'm not entirely sure which one's which. But I think one of them British is a Billy, was a Billy Elliot. Elliot. Yeah. One of I them's mean, a Billy Elliot. Most most British uh, theater actors at some point were Billy Elliot. But yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Brandon, this is great. Is there any kind of setting that you want to put um, put our friend here in? Like I put Velma in uh, NBC Soundable. Um. Hmm. I can get the recess setting, I suppose. Yeah, maybe just like, yeah, in a schoolyard. Or maybe, well, yeah, no, that's good. I like that. I like it. I like it. I, like it. I was going to say the Flintstones, but that's just a hat on a hat on a hat, you know? Ah, uh, look at these wily guys. Oh, so cute. I forgot about the kid whose like, whole thing is like, my dad's in the military. <laughs> <laughs> Velma, we need to we need to shorten you. Is he also the new kid? Is that what his whole thing is? Probably. Yeah. And it's about like not being a bully. Yeah, it's about like you know uh, existing in the the space of being a child and like making friends with people who might not be the most popular in the world. That's a good lesson. Yeah. They also have a great uh, like reference to <laughs> Heather's except they're the Ashleys instead of the Heathers. It's very funny. Oh, very, that, like, that's what that's referencing. Yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And the fact that Spinelli is also an Ashley and like is revolting against that. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Uh, all right. I've had some time to think. Have I thought? Okay. No. So <laughs> we're going to go with. Um... Let me, oh. I can pitch you some, you know? We got SpongeBob. We got I know. Arthur. Uh... We got the Flintstones. We got. Kurt, well, I said something is earlier that I was like, "Oh hell yeah, dude!" And then, of course, I promptly forgot. Um, let's go with Cyber Chase. What cyber Chase. Cyber Chase. Great, great. It's gonna be Cyber Chase. I mean, they're they're doing cyber crimes, then, right, Amanda? Uh, they they are going to be doing hacking crimes. Of course, they will. Of course, of course. What is this television show? Oh, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> It is currently producing new episodes still that you can watch. What? Incredible. That's wild. Has um, anyone the ever one in the middle really movie, looks like though. me as a child. Yes. Minus the yes, glasses. That's exactly how I dressed. Really? And how my hair looked. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think I, I don't think I've ever actually seen a photo of little Julia. That's I, do, for the I best. would like to. No, I would like to see one. Well, well. We, we can do it if we're ever together in meet space uh, for, you know, a few different nights in a few different cities at some point. Um, I don't Look know. Maybe that, Amanda, that won't spring. be happening anytime soon or anything like that. <laughs> maybe in the spring. I don't really know. I, don't I, don't know. know. I have plans in the spring. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bray <laughs> does point out. Rodrigo in the spring. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Bray does point out that there is an iconic uh, bird in Cyber Chase that would be very good. There's also these two studios. Oh, uh, oh which God. which is what I'm going to be going with here. Mm -hmm. um, what are their names? So, don't know. Let's don't remember. <laughs> Not important. Not important. Um, what what are these guys' names? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I am here on. Okay, this is the Cyber Chase 3D Builder. Is the app that I am on right here. Nobody likes it. Um, so that's okay. The bird's called Digit. This is good. This that's is a good, good. start. Oh, he is so cute, though. Hold on. Bray just said in the chat, Brandon, you can see little Julia when we can see your mom as a clown. Didn't we do that? Didn't yeah, I yeah. have to did many times, Bray. Yeah. You might have just missed it. Yeah. I'm sorry. 
but yeah, yeah, yeah. you can go to youtube.com and look at the uh, video on demands. Uh, this show is so adorable. It taught kids about the internet, uh, on our public access TV, uh, stations, uh, back in the late nineties. Uh, and it's still going on today, teaching you good lessons about like, uh, the episode Eric and I watched was about like taking on city hall to challenge zoning for a park That's and so like cute. statistics and being like, oh, well in this neighborhood, you know, more kids use the park compared to the number of kids. And it was, actually I love very that. Good. No, it's very sweet. So I'm dead. Now they're going to do crime, Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> well, these guys are kind of like lackeys who do bad things. Um, in they like work for the overlord. Uh, so I'm going to make them, um, analogous to, oh, these pals. <laughs> There's a tall one and a small one. Um, yeah. and they are going to be home aloneing. So uh, just, they're just robbing people's homes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but like through their computers. Like if you leave through your computer computers. on while yeah. you go on vacation, uh, yeah. then they come and they they take all your shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Very, very good. Uh, I was watering uh, plants for a friend the other day and she did a thing that I know you're supposed to do, but I've never once done in my life, which is like unplug all of your electronics when you're not home uh, and like away for a couple of weeks. Uh, and so... I was like, no oh, way damn, I'm ever really, gonna do that. I really like that, that sounds like nonsense. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I did a uh, like a summer program in college, okay. and I um, <clears throat> had a friend there who was like obsessed, obsessed with uh, like phantom bleed or whatever you call it, where like if you do leave something plugged, I don't even know if this is true anymore, but at some point, if you left your electronics plugged in, it would like over time you would get like the the smallest amount of electricity um, spent. Sure. And I was like, you know, my dude, like the corporations are just totally destroying our environment uh, one by one without our uh, without our electronics. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> uh, sorry, Brandon, I was just finding you a photo of little Julia because I'll send it to you now. Hold on. <gasps> Yay. Uh, I have some good ones. There there are some good this one's a very basic one. So Brandon, don't get like too excited. I'm just like going through my mom's Facebook and finding you fit in photos <laughs> of me. All right, hey so. Amanda, that was perfect. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. We're, we're yeah, Amanda, that's some great canvaing. I just want to say. See, and then I click away and it goes back, which is oh, very no. I think you what? have to save the the <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't Julie, know you cut about. off your head. <laughs> that, that's just what the photo is, Brandon. I don't know. No. I'll find you another one. It's but fine. you're so cute. I am all right. Look at Julie your was hair. adorable. That was what my hair looked like for sure. It's so cute. Hold on. My mom has like a series of three photos. They're all extremely blurry, but at least you'll get the vibe there. <laughs> and her hair was always tangled because she's like, why stop having fun and brush my hair? Why? why yeah, I see. My mom would get so mad at me, but I, I would that. be like, hey, here I am. I'm just living my life. All right. That's all I'm sending you. I'm not sending you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Little Julia on a snowboard. Yeah. Little Julia on a bike. Little mm -hmm. Julia. <laughs> With a um, fanny pack or something. That's a lizard, my guy. That's a lizard? Yeah. Oh, Julia it's a had lizard. a lizard. That's true. His name was Henry. He was a blue tongue skink. Oh. Yeah. I wonder what he does if he was a crime crime person. Uh, He would eat all of the wet dog food because that's all he did. <laughs> <laughs> he was really cute. He was cute. His I would let Henry him crawl said? around. His name was Henry, yes. That's cute. I'd let him crawl around my room every now and again. That's cute. And then sometimes I would be like, no, you can't go in the radiator, Henry, no. Henry, no. Yeah. yeah. He likes right, so a worm. The... <laughs> Tell yeah. Amanda, this is incredible. You're yeah. doing great. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> so they are home aloneing. And I, I think you guys are exactly right where uh, when uh, when someone goes on vacation and they don't like lock their router or maybe when they um they move in somewhere and their Wi-Fi network's unprotected, mm. uh, then, you know, these guys do sneak in and do their various crimes. I love um, that. So I'm going to search for hacking here. Mm -hmm. Canva. Oh, mm. yep. Nope. This is exactly what I'm going for. Okay. Yep. It's weird. It's all images of me. Hmm? Oh, yep. There it is. There it is. Hack uh, in the mainframe. Granny Google. And mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. open lock. That's mm -hmm. that's something. That's helpful. Perfect. Beautiful. Uh, oh, and this one. That's just classic. That's really good. Library Chick says, 
at work in summer, I take the children hunting for bugs and lizards. Great. Cute. I love that. Library chick, my skink is probably from Australia, if I'm if I remember correctly. I think that's where blue tongue skinks are from. Um, oh. and I, I love that for you. I'm not sure why this hat glasses combo says hacker, but they're not it wrong. Does. Yeah, no, it does. Yeah. It, I honestly, Amanda, I fucking love uh that on big lipped guy. That's great. <laughs> yeah. We're just we're vibing. Yeah. Uh cool. So they are now uh hackers. Beautiful. Beautiful. What was that? Um, oh yeah, digit. Now is th is that the guy that is the um, oh uh, what's the kid's name in Home Alone? Uh, Kevin McAllister. Yeah, I see the Kevin McAllister of the story. Yeah, the bird is the Kevin McAllister. The bird, yeah. I think he's like their golden retriever. Who uh, mm. I think they leave behind. Is that right? To uh, or no, they take him with them to the airport, which made no sense. Um, they take the dog no, I... to the airport. <laughs> what's Didn't up? They? Didn't no, they... did they have a golden retriever? No, no. Oh, I don't think well, so. Maybe, maybe in like one of the later ones or something. Not the ones with the uh, Macaulay Culkin, though. Fair. Uh, okay, so then I'm going to say Digit is like uh, a local friend who's there to water the plants, and maybe he interrupts the hack in progress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> Bray says, no dog, just Kevin. That's fair. That's fair. Am Amanda and I also recently, like, we just recorded the bonus episode for Spirits, like, right before this, and discovered a absolutely buck wild um air buds sequel Dude. and i'm not going to tell you anymore because you should be subscribed to the spirits patreon but mm -hmm. like i i googled something and then i said oh my god so, <laughs> uh that's just a little teaser for you that's exactly but that made me happened. think of the amanda being like there was a golden retriever right i was like oh, <laughs> i'm bud. excited the real air bud golden retriever pills yeah mm -hmm. uh Hi. cute well this is these are our crimes Mm -hmm. Guys, I every time I like like the watering can, I have such bad spatial memory or spatial or, or like reasoning or whatever you call it. Uh -huh. that, like, OK, I knew you were going to flip that watering can. And I was like, no, you can't. It doesn't possibly make sense. Like, <laughs> it's impossible. It's, it's simply impossible. Up. Simply this doesn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, that actually reminds me of an anecdote that I think will inspire our next uh, slide here. Um, so uh, I was once uh, at the dentist making small talk like you do. Uh, and I was like, hey, what a, like, either he mentioned dental school or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, what a, like, oh, do they teach you that? Like, was something asked some question about dental school or like, what, you know, what was challenging about it, whatever. And he was like, yeah, actually, the first thing you do to get into dental school is do like a like a block puzzle of like a 3D block puzzle. And if your spatial awareness isn't good, because I think that's what I was talking about. A lot of dentistry is done like in a mirror, like they use a mirror to see your right. teeth and they just like do it upside down. And he's like, yeah, no, you have to go to like remedial shape camp um, before <laughs> dental school if you're not good enough to start with, where you use like blocks and clay to like do uh do puzzles to like get your spatial what? reasoning up to par you know That's what amanda incredible. i would go to dental school if it was all that <laughs> <laughs> it would just be so much fun i'd be like i get to play with blocks and clay and then i get to get a dental degree fuck yeah <laughs> yeah so my suggestion here oh that wasn't uh instead of space camp it's that? shape camp uh exactly and I want to figure out some side quests that would get you banned from dental school. <laughs> what I think would be really fun. A side quest that would get you banned from dental school. Or just I like think, activities that would do that. Well, I think that it would be really interesting if it was one of those things where it was like a very classic dungeon puzzle. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. and like imagine all dentists have to do a dungeon puzzle before they go to dental school mm -hmm. it's pretty good and Did it's like arrange the teeth in a specific order yes i was thinking something like that where it was like okay well you have to look at all these teeth and then what amanda what's going on here oh just oh, this area with blocks. blocks okay cool, yep. cool cool it was a little blurry at first so i was like what the fuck is this but no <laughs> yep, this is great um, but like the idea of like, yeah, you have to like do a puzzle, but all of it has to be done like in a mirror universe. And so like, it's, it's the opposite of what you think it is oh. and, and like figuring out the puzzle that way would be really fun. The mm -hmm. teeth upside down. Maybe the teeth are upside down and reversed, you know? Mm -hmm. 
good. Uh, this is, of course, the mirror universe uh, yeah. where we have uh, Goatee Spock um, yes. just as a sort of guiding light for us mm -hmm. over here. His name is Spack. Uh, is it really? <laughs> no. no. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Granted, I, I trust that you know something about long. Star Trek. That's why. <laughs> I haven't watched the original series in a long time. Uh, okay, I am working my enough, way through right. Voyager right now, though. Oh, okay. How's it going? Good. It's good. I mm -hmm. like it. Uh, we're in the middle of <laughs> this is a very funny story um so jake and i went on vacation uh fairly recently amanda incredible i love that um i also like the one that's got a little cape on him if we can incorporate him uh somewhere in there uh -huh. um so jake and i were on vacation and we were killing time between when we went to universal for halloween horror nights and so we were mm -hmm. killing time between the park closing and it reopening for halloween horror nights and so we had like ordered some room service. We're hanging out in the room and I like turn on the TV just to like have something for us to do while we wait for the room service. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite shows of, as me as a child, um, like during the summer, TNT every morning would play back to back episodes of the TV show Charmed. Which yeah. Is oh, yeah. Like, everyone in the room knows what Charmed is. I, I watch the show. Yeah. Charmed. I watch that okay. all the time. So I put it on, I go, oh, charms on. And Jake's like, oh, okay. Uh, and like, he had never watched it. And I, we sat down, we watched like an episode and a half. And he's like, is this available anywhere? He's like, <laughs> I think it's available on Amazon. He's like, can, can we watch more of it? <laughs> and I was like, yes, yes, we can. Because like at the time we, that we had started dating, I was like, it like, in the throes of charmed and like loving it as a show and mm -hmm. he always like early on jake always reminded me of leo from the show who is mm -hmm. like the the one character's love interest he's like a guardian angel type character and i was like I, so we just finished the first season and i've been like looking at him every time and he turned to me he's like you thought i was i was like leo when we first started dating i was like yeah he's like julia that's really nice oh. like, <laughs> What totally crying. I was like, oh, baby, that's, that's so, so sweet. cute. Aww. Anyway, um, now yeah. Charmed is the TV show, show that made me know that I was straight. <laughs> OK. And and what what was that about? Uh, the three <laughs> very attractive women in the league. Yeah. And then a fourth yeah. one later. Yes. And then the fourth one later on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But I, Brett, I was like, I had a crush on every single one of those ladies. Uh, yeah, have you seen them? <laughs> I know they're all pretty fucking hot. That's and absolutely fair. It was that was Pete Nineties fashion. Just like I'm gonna wear a bandana for a shirt. Mm -hmm. Or it's like Amanda, I see nipple in every single episode. Oh, no. <laughs> and like the wild thing is too, I'm like, I can see her bra line. Why can I also see nipple? <laughs> Why did the nineties not figure out that like you can support the boobs and also hide the nipples? Not, not possible. Because that was how we got ratings, right. Julia. Not <laughs> possible. Oh boy. Uh, now, Amanda, anyway. I just want to quickly say how how oh. awesome you're doing right now. Thank Amanda, you. Amanda, you're crushing it. I, I no, really appreciate this. I'm just putting together a tooth puzzle. Mm -hmm. That's what you do at work sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you just have a, a puzzle and it's made out of teeth. And uh -huh. oh, I just dropped my uh, joke in. Uh, but you do. I do uh, want to pitch another uh, dental school side quest here. Okay. Please, yeah. I think a very important part of you graduating from dental school is that you do need to steal a tooth from one of your classmates without them realizing what you're doing. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that's very good. Yeah interesting okay and you don't get to graduate oh. unless you stole a tooth that's very good i think and i would do don't... like an elaborate prank in which someone's tooth gets knocked out and then i just snatch it from the floor and run yeah <laughs> okay so like a, like one of those broom um <laughs> broom pranks oh yeah a broom prank yeah a broom prank <laughs> a classic yeah, broom maybe. prank a rake prank yeah a rake a rake prank mm -hmm. I know, what you mean. Amanda, I know exactly what you mean. Thank you. Amanda, I mean, is, is your head just a cartoon, like your inner monologue? Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. No, it's just a slapstick cartoon, Brandon. Why Why are you just realizing this now? It's, it's numbers and a slapstick cartoon. That's it. Huh? <laughs> and, uh, and fantasies of new plant leaves. 
Mm-hmm. So Julia, I think this is where your tooth um, friend with the cape comes in mm-hmm. because I think when the tooth is knocked loose, it flies toward the dentist because that oh. that is in fact the final uh, portion of your dental training is uh, you, you be learn- chosen by the tooth. <laughs> you're chosen by the tooth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you, you <laughs> develop some kind of inherent magnetism toward teeth. Mm-hmm. So when you're extracting them, they uh, fly, they towards you. fly toward you. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. I love it. Amanda, yeah. I love it. That's, That's really great. useful. Right? Mm-hmm. that's really good um i was thinking oh one more thing um uh, there's that there's that uh oh uh you know the uh the like spray the spray nozzle guy uh that they use to like you know rinse out your mouth mm-hmm. uh i wonder if you have to uh if there is like a an ocean's 11 laser uh field but mm. of those jets but they're so high pressure that if you touch them they will like sever your limb Ooh, i love that, that's great i like that too Yep. I mean, I hate it. I don't want to do yep. it, but I love it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, let me try to find. I'm sensitive to some people may not love dental instruments, so I'm trying to figure out a it's uh, like a water jet or something. Water pick, right? Right. Or, yeah, or yeah. how about the just the just the mirror that they put in your mouth would also be okay. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. Uh, that gets the point across without it being like the hooks or the drills. Yeah, I I don't have like a dental phobia, and I just don't love seeing this many teeth when I'm Google image searching. That's um, fair, babe. Totally fair. Teeth, <laughs> teeth aren't great to look at when you look at it too long. Teeth are not ideal. No. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say it. Teeth not ideal. Not I wish we didn't ideal. have them. Oh, wish we didn't have to take care of them so much. Yep. Here. If I, I we had them, I they are useful. <laughs> well, I mean, like I I almost wish I had like a thing that if I didn't take care of it wouldn't like rot in my mouth and kill me. You know? Oh sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like yeah. ideally, ideally, I think if I got like a mundane wish from a genie or something, mm-hmm. it would be that I never have to brush my teeth again. <laughs> Julia, I think about that constantly. Like, say you have three wishes or whatever. I think I would use one of them to be like, all of my personal hygiene forever perfect. Taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to shower. Don't need to brush my teeth. Yeah. I always smell and look like I just took the best care of myself ever. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And not like, I'm not like being like, yes, yeah, so, you know, I'll be beautiful forever for all eternity. Like, uh, you know, I know just, just up to regular standards. Yeah. Mm-hmm, just mm-hmm. like, yeah, I, I would look my, my, my genie wish would be, I would look and smell my best, like naturally, like yeah. without, without makeup or anything like that. I'm just like, not even like naturally beautiful, just my best naturally. Mm-hmm, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. Totally. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, part of that, part of that's just teeth. health too. Yeah. 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 Like, don't take care of your teeth. Yeah. 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 I just, I'm more like my thing is that I don't love that. There's only one. You only get one set. Yeah. <laughs> Look them up. Mm-hmm. That's done. Yeah. I mean, you can get a second set. You just have to take them. That's true. You know, yeah. you, they have to be made of Expensive. wood and yeah. get them from the night. <laughs> that's the only thing that they're made of nowadays. <laughs> you're president only and, wood. Yeah. yeah and then you're president. And you got to yeah, cut yeah. down a tree. It's a whole thing. <laughs> Well, guys, I I do think then that unless anyone has additional um, dentistry puzzles to, I did just say I'm going to kill your family. By the way, just of this guy in the yeah, main I did see that. Uh-huh. Just, just like for fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I do think we should do mundane super superpowers next for adventurers. Oh, okay. one of my favorites. Yeah, love it. Uh, like you you get a boon from a witch, but it's only mundane boons because like all you did was like get her cat out of a tree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, this is really good. Let's see. Let's find a little backdrop here. My second wish for my genie would be <clears throat> I don't ever have to eat. I only mm-hmm. eat when I want to eat. Yes. Never hungry. Don't have to Good. worry about food. Don't have to oh, worry about drink. Well, Brandon, mine, and this could be this could be one for the adventurers, even though it doesn't have much of a like uh this is just my personal one, but not like really good for a side quest necessarily, but is knowing exactly what meal would satisfy me when oh. I'm hungry. Like what the perfect meal for my, like knowing exactly what that the perfect moment. meal would be at that moment. Yeah. That's great. Mm-hmm. I like that. Okay. We have here a regular old uh, D and D witch. So this mm-hmm. is going to be our little setting here. We love it. Uh, so you help her out. Uh, you save some of her pals and she says, Oh, uh, great news guys. I got, I got three boons for you from this magic small buck, maybe more. Mm-hmm. Uh, where do we begin? I think one could be teleportation, but it's five feet. 
I think that's it's just a lethal one. I think that is a spell. Is it, is it Misty Step? Like, yeah, Misty Step. I think is like thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Uh, I like teleportation six inches. I take it back. <laughs> even then, it could no, be I like it's good and useful. I agree. No, I think yeah. five feet is like the the Too most good. you could do for a D and D like boon. Because then you could like get out of a locked room or you know something, uh, escape a cave. But I think right. six inches is perfectly. Yeah, you perfectly can't even get through a wall calibrated. with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could get like out of um, like shackles or something though with that so it's like useful but it's not like totally useful you know what i mean Mm -hmm. uh how should i represent this uh a like little measuring tape i was gonna say you get a guy and then move him six inches over (laughs) oh also that if you just search teleportation what do we get i was like why didn't monkeys come up i did search measuring ape so (laughs) measuring ape if you search teleportation, what comes up in uh... that metric tape is also showing six inches. There we go. Um, I I like the I like the uh, out guy with an arrow. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, but just only, like over yeah, only six inches. Yeah, only oh, six. Very inches. good. Uh, by great. the way, guys, a thing people may not know that uh, kids in McLaughlin families do know um, is that your tape measure itself is going to be a standard width. It's probably exactly two or three inches. And so sure. if you ever like butt it up to the end of a wall and you're like, ah, oh, shit, I have to like crank it in there and like get the thing just, no, 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 just stop. And then use the width of your tape measure to be like, Oh, let me add on two or three inches. Yep. Brandon. I think it's a half inch. All right. No, well, no, the, 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 your the body of the one. tape measure. Yeah. the This way. No, the bot like the the body. Oh, this. Where thing. Yes. Oh. And the bottom, how wide it is, how long it is. Oh yeah, it should be about like two inches. Exactly an inch. Yeah. Or something. I it's a mini one. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. That's. I'm tight. just trying to compare it to your body, Brandon. <laughs> Brandon, much smaller than you think. Yeah. Oh, cute. Uh. Okay. This is great. Um. Okay. Lyle points out you can also go into a locked room with this. So you know maybe not totally, but like six inches, like just it won't do your body all the way in. It's good stuff. Okay. Yeah, good stuff uh good uh anybody else mundane boon mm. um mm-hmm. hmm. i'm trying to think of like something that you could do mechanically for D D that could be useful but not totally useful yeah yeah, yeah. um <sighs> waterproof boots does that give you the ability to potentially walk on water though maybe that's that's a thing the boots of water walking are definitely a thing. Bray's about to tear me apart. Brandon. Brandon. Brandon, those are a real I was going to say totally waterproof yeah. clothes. Maybe mm. waterproof. What if they're, okay, here's, so you know how things that are waterproof are actually kind of lightly water repellent? Like yeah. the molecules are hydrophobic. What if your clothes just send water away? And, and so it is lightly raining around you at all times, but it doesn't touch you. Oh, I like that. I like That's that. That's interesting. You could also do a Moses with that. You could do a, a Moses. very small only, Moses. Very as small wide Moses. as you are. Very yeah. small Moses. A wee Moses. Oh, uh, yeah. Interesting. Right. I realized okay. that after it came out of my mouth. <laughs> That's I, good, Brandon. Uh, At least you realized it. I looked up, uh, Google imaged um, a small Moses, and I do see both knitted Moseses for dollhouses and a man named Moses Small. <laughs> What's Moses Small steal? What's uh, his situation? It okay. looks like uh, he's a newscaster in Tennessee. Oh, oh. good for him. Proud Fun. of him. All right. Anyway. Uh, I don't know. He might be have... a milk duck. I don't know. Milkshake duck. I, I won't say I'm proud of him. I don't know this man. <laughs> I like the idea of a milk duck. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a duck that only like swims Drinks in milk. milk. <laughs> yep, yep. I do How about a, this... a duck that only swims in milk, Amanda? <laughs> uh, I did find this uh, cool image of a hydrophobic molecule. It's probably Ooh. photoshopped, but still pretty cute. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. All right. So it's that, but. Uh, oh, what Cam- if you're. Brandon Bray is reading you to filth in the chat. I know. I know. <laughs> it's, so, it's so disturbing. What if, Amanda, that's interesting. What if it's like hydrophobia? And it's or or the opposite, 
love love of hydrophobia <laughs> whatever um hydrophilia yes because then you could always find water if you need it is that helpful oh, like for like dowsing yeah like for like a survival game like where you really need to be making like survival checks to forage for food and water and shit that would be useful but sometimes it's just a cactus you go over there and you're like damn because damn. it's did you yeah. know that um water you should not drink the stuff from cactus it is poisonous to you it will kill you <laughs> yes 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 i didn't but now i now i do now if you ever lost in the desert now you know all right, all right i thought of mine all right what is yours um it's like a necromantic amulet or something like that uh-huh um but and like it allows you to like you know c control skeletons and stuff like that but only mm -hmm. one bone at a time <laughs> okay, that's really good <laughs> or you can like you can summon bones but it's like only one bone at a time oh okay okay here so let me find we're gonna arrange the bones mm. now uh bray did in chat just say that uh he took a popsicle out of its wrapper and it dropped it immediately Proud first of, of all i'm so sorry that happened to you but second of all <laughs> oh, that's maybe small levitation you can levitate things that are, uh, let's say, six ounces or less. <laughs> That's good. Right. I would do that for the remote all the time. Yes. Yeah. Famously, Amanda uh, would love the power to just like bring small objects closer to her. So, mm -hmm. uh huh. You could train a small a small monkey to do that for you, Amanda. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. You could be Ross from Friends, Amanda. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing that wrong that happened in that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take what your is, word for it. What is the background of? Oh, it's an amulet thing. I see. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I all the ones that I googled were like actual cultures, and I yeah, I didn't want to do no, those. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Um, all right, I so this that. is great. Okay, summon, but one bone at a time. <laughs> Just, I was like, yeah, you know, like you could do like a necromancy thing where you like summon bones, but only one at a time. There's a lot That's of bones really in the good. body. The way you said it earlier, when you said the word necromancy, it sounded mm -hmm. like you were going to say like necromantic. And I was like, yeah, mm. like, no, like, like necromantic, like romantic, but necromantic. And it was mm -hmm. very cute. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brandon. Thanks. I thought you were going to take it in a pervy direction. I thought, also love, thought you were uh, going to take it in a pervy direction. Dead bodies. No, I mean, um, like, I think it's cute when, uh, you know, two people who have been recently brought back to life fall in love, you know? That's true. I, it's got to be the title of some rom or like some romance novel, you know? Yeah. Necro romantic. Neck romantic. Right, Neck exactly. I'm 100% yeah, sure. sure that's a Tumblr or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. That's not even a question. Okay. And then I am just going to put a little Moses Reed basket under this uh, molecule right here. There we go. There you go, honey. There you go. Okay. You just nestle in there. <laughs> yeah. Nestle right in there. I uh I wonder, can we come up with any other boon? So a boon someone could give me, is there any like okay, so it's it's boring to say, oh, uh, it's you know, material wealth, but it's only a little bit. The the spell that I most um covet is uh or a feature is having a familiar and so is there i know there's like swarms of insects of course for like you know plague and swarm uh classes but mm -hmm. um is there a summon familiar sort of uh boon that we could make mundane um i think it's it's summon familiar but it's just a random animal you get no say in the matter and it has no like magical connection to you whatsoever <laughs> That's pretty good. Just any animal close to you now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was going to say just like the squirrel, the closest, it summons the closest animal to you. So there's like a squirrel in a tree and it just like moves five <laughs> feet. And now it's in front of you and it does not care about you whatsoever. And then it runs away again. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <clears throat> but could you be useful as a distraction? Could be. Depends on how, I, I guess it depends on the animal or it's like you, you use it and it like, you don't see anything because it's summoned like, an ant <laughs> that's really good mm -hmm. uh something that would actually be helpful is summon phone charger pretty good also very good i mean yeah i mean just uh levitate you know mm -hmm. yeah again just just the levitations um what about like oh fuck what was it i just lost it 
Oh, what if you just always have a good joke ready at the moment's notice, you know? Yeah. That's possible. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. I think that's just called a book of jokes, Brandon. <laughs> no, but like you don't have to think about it. You don't have to memorize it. Mm. You just like it's a it's a it's a new joke that no one's ever made before. And it's mm -hmm. just like Oh, a unique joke. Unique joke, yeah. And okay. Could, okay. you know, you could use it to get out of a situation, whatever, whatever you want to use a joke for. You you get a bonus on your charisma check or whatever. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Julia, what what are those nasty spells that make them laugh a lot? Uh, that's hideous laughter. Tasha's, Tasha's hideous oh, laughter. Yeah. It's yeah. not Tasha's uh, anymore. They took all the names away, Brandon. Oh, so really? It's just hideous laughter. Yeah. Uh, Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's, part it of it's part of Hasbro's thing, I think. It's just like uh, they're like, we don't have to, we don't want to have to like tell people who Tasha is and like shit oh, like gotcha, that. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I did just Google, I had this image in my mind and I Googled the phrase joke teeth. Oh, thought, no. <laughs> but no, one of these old, one of these old guys, you know how we see them chattering on, on the cartoons. Uh, I think this is, I think you have to pop in these hideous teeth, Brandon, in order to tell a good joke. Great. Mm, that's that's, the, that's like the trade off. That. That's horrifying. I love it. It's horrifying. They probably wouldn't know, so it's fine. Yeah. Become president. Excellent. I hate that it has a tongue, too. Yeah, that version has a tongue. I don't love not, that. Not great. Well, when it when it goes like that, though, wouldn't it bite its own tongue? Uh, I mean, maybe so. This one is more cringy. I don't think the tongue moves. I don't think the tongue moves. I mean, oh, the, no. the thing—the one I got was an illustration. This one is a is a real a real lad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. I yeah. like the question mark that's on that too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't fucking know this thing. <laughs> no, I, I made the squirrel confused because the squirrel was oh, minding his oh. own business, and then I thought it was part of the image. So did I? <laughs> I there was a question mark. Yeah, that's and they were just like this fucking thing. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's really funny. Uh, this is good. This is good. Yeah uh let's let's do one more cool. maybe like summon summon beverage or beverage right temp or okay mm. again um, i want to think of like something that does have some practicality some, to yeah. a game system okay um, okay um okay, go for here's it. here's one uh so we julia you got um some corsair jorbins uh in a recent episode they help you with dunking mm -hmm. uh what if you got something that helps with monkey bars or seesaws only <laughs> i would turn everything into a monkey bar or seesaw that's that's just how you have to do it you like know? gloves or something yeah that's listen everyone hey hey let me turn my chair around hey hey we're gonna wrap with julia if you're D and D dm your gm whatever game you're playing they give you an inch fucking take the mile <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna say uh gloves of power uh plus one to playground <laughs> activities yeah and you gotta put playground activities in quotes because playground activities is whatever you define a playground activity as mm -hmm. very true mm. okay let me find some gloves yeah. is there something about like you can always guess a code on the second try or guess a password on the second try or something. Interesting. Maybe it's called a two-factor authorization. <laughs> I don't know exactly what, but that's what uh, made me think of that. Because it's still like an advantage because you can get into the thing, but you do need a plan for the worst case scenario because you are going to get it wrong the first time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're <laughs> you're not going to like avoid it. But then, yeah. I mean, Brandon, but then that that is that sounds very um, very useful though because then you can always like, you know, if you have three tries, then you're like, all right, well, he's on try number two. Right, exactly, yeah. Well, but then your DM would just be like, oh, the alarm sounded on the first one. Yeah, but then you've mm. prepped a trap for those people coming after you, you know? Mm, interesting, interesting. Or it's I like, see. you know, you you save some time in trying multiple passwords, knowing yeah, yeah, you'll yeah. get it the second one, but also knowing that the alarm's going to sound no matter what. Yeah. Interesting. Or okay, you know you cool. get it wrong on the first try, and then you summon your squirrel as a distraction. Mm-hmm, <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No questions. <laughs> no notes. Right. Yeah, let me get a key fob then. Again, it's not necessarily a squirrel. It's just whatever animal is closest to you when you use the spell at the time. That's a good question. In, in whatever state you're in right now, or Rat. like... <laughs> 
probably cricket or bird is going to be I was going to say, answer. what do you think the closest animal to you is right now? Well, Everyone statistically, it's usually a spider. Animal, though, not, not insect or bug. Oh, then it's a bird of some kind. Yeah, definitely. Either a bird outside the window or a rat uh, poking around the garbage. Somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, library chick has cats. So that's fair. Yeah, it, your pet would count as that. Your pet would be pissed, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Crow Kaka okay. is dog sitting a good boy. Aww. Ooh. So it would be that. It would be that good boy. Hell yeah. No, um, you two didn't realize, but Crow Kaka is the uh, crow that I feed peanuts to on my roof. Kaka. Wait, is the crow dog sitting you? Mm -hmm. Brandon, are you the good boy that I'm is being dog sat? Yep, I Cute. love that. Dog All right, we did it. Dog sat. Beautiful, perfect. No notes. Everything is great. Uh, Bray it. did give a suggestion very early in the uh, stream mm -hmm. about a um, like a animal. What do you call? It? Not a pound. A uh, dog rescue. Or, animal rescue. rescue. Animal yeah. rescue. Thank you. Um, a humane society. Yes, thank you. Where did it go, Bray? But it was like but, for magical animals or something? Yeah. Amanda, yeah. how about you pull up um, the ASPCA website and you just pick a bunch of the, the best animals with the best names and just throw them in here and we'll come up with like their animal magical abilities. Oh, Julia, that would be really tough for me because then I would want to go adopt them. Okay. Um, Which so, would not be a bad thing. Just uh, Yes, it would. I can't adopt an animal right now. Um, <laughs> I did look up pet hotels because the okay. idea of a shelter makes me sad. Mm -hmm. um, so these are just adorable pet suites. Um, okay. How about we look for uh, some animal clip art? Would that work for you? That's fine. I'll allow it. Okay. Uh, all right. So we got a good lizard. Great. Yeah. Just throw like, let's throw six in here. Yeah. Just pick at random. Yes. Cute. Oh, I want the corgi's butt. The corgi's corgi butt. butt. Corgi, corgi butt. butt. Wait, where, where'd he go? He, he, He's there he is. Load. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. Corgi butt. Uh, that's very good. All right. Gotta make sure we have a cat representation up in here. Oh, I just, I just <laughs> remember, I just thought of the corgi's uh, power. That's perfect. I'm <laughs> loving it. Beautiful. All right. How about, wait, Amanda? Yeah. I love that cat that you just had, but there is one that's riding around mm -hmm. spinning in a box. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Oop, magic recommendations. Don't mind if I do. Uh, mm -hmm. Bray is giving us some good names um, okay. in the chat. So, all right, Brandon, keep track of those. Brandon, yeah, right, you grab them. Yeah, how about a hamster? one of them, Stevie Cooper? I know, All right, cool. I okay. I'm definitely gonna name my next pet DB Cooper. That's great. It's pretty good. DB little bit is one. Little bit. All right, and then I'm gonna do a plant for all the Amandas out there. Mm, okay. Um, I love the idea of a plant. Uh, in a, in like a kennel in a, in a rescue or something <laughs> next yeah. to the dogs and cats. And you're like, and is there like a lizard in here? They're like, no, no, no it's no. the plant. That's just a vine. <laughs> cute all righty all right i'm gonna rattle off some names and you tell me which one you guys like we okay. got jameson rocket sushi sesame miso greg db cooper toblerone little bit capone paolo boduc valencia congo walter nemesis um, <laughs> so the corgi's name is toblerone yep uh, and his power is um he can help you on charisma checks, but only if he shows the person their butt. Good. His butt. Toblerone's His butt. butt. Yes, okay. Toblerone's okay. butt. Uh, so you could be like, hey, give me this thing, and then hold Toblerone up, and he'll like look <laughs> over his shoulder, and he'll show him the little butt. Very good. I like the idea that a little heart, like an anime heart, just kind yeah. of comes out of the fur, like the butt, when <laughs> it happens. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yep. yep Perfect. Yep, yep. Just a like little a anime butt. Little Tobler was full of almonds because he loves almonds. Like, Tobler oh. almonds? I forget. <laughs> I don't know. I think the plant should be named um, Capone. And <laughs> uh, if you take one of its leaves off, it will scream, but it will poison a foe. Okay. okay. That makes me sad. Like a, vi like a victorious battle cry. 
Oh, okay. I thought it was like in pain because <laughs> no, 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 you no. just removed one of its limbs. Great. Poison bow. Great. Love it. What a badass yeah. plant. Mm -hmm. uh, how about this bird? That bird's name? That bird's name is... Veronica. Is that a little bit? Oh, I was going to say, I, she just looks like a Veronica to me. A Veronica. Yeah. <laughs> Veronica's good. Ooh, we, we have a first time chatter suggesting Walter, Walter. so I think we got to well, get that's it. Walter then. Yeah. yeah. Walter, and uh, does Walter hypnotize um, people with his bird song? Or... Blow him to sleep? Like a slow poke? Maybe, maybe Jigglypuff? he makes you fall in love with him. Okay. Guess, like, well, we already dance. are doing that with Toblerone and his cute yeah, butt. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Have a perception because we Walter can get a bird's eye view of, of lay of the land. That's good. I like that. Uh, but you do have to like he can only whistle directions to you. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to like your DM has to like make bird noises and you have to do your best to interpret them. Yep. I like the idea that like he sort of like can guide you through difficult terrain or like a maze or whatever but only if you're like you have to follow his whistles mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. yeah adorable uh i do agree with the chat that i think this cat is db cooper i agree yes that is correct mm -hmm. what is db cooper doing to me is he hypnotizing what, me well first of all i think what is this cat's name what does the d and the b stand for for this cat's name dirty bastard cooper <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah okay good cool 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 does everyone in the chat know who D.B. Cooper is? Because that's... Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Twin Peaks. So. Uh, and thank you, Joe. I'm so I'm glad sorry. you can make wait, it. Wait, sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Wait, what? what? <laughs> From Twin Peaks? You know no? D.B. Cooper is a real person, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. D.B. No? Cooper was a guy who uh, stole an airplane, uh, got a bunch of money, and then flew into the wilderness, and they never found him. Oh, he, no, I did he, not know that. Mm -hmm. He, like kind of hijacked an airplane yeah um and then at the end of his hijack he jumped out of the plane with a parachute somewhere in the pacific northwest i think actually and they never found him and they never found him he uh, might be dead yeah, he might not no. be dead we don't know thought thought he was a real thought he was only from twin peaks um <laughs> every once in a while there'd be like an update they'd be like we found money that might have been db cooper's and everyone's like okay <laughs> that's so good i love that <laughs> i like that like kyle mclaughlin yeah db cooper yeah, yeah db cooper <laughs> And obviously, like, DB Cooper was not his not his real name. They don't know who he was. Yeah, yeah they don't know what yeah. his name is. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so well, what funny. What does the cat DB Cooper do? Um. Well, I mean, like the DB Cooper, the real DB Cooper. I think this cat can hide super good, right? I was gonna say maybe he just like passively steals gold while oh, you like have him meows. in your party. Like a and, meow. Yes. And like at the end of each session, you can roll a D20 and that's how many gold pieces he stole. Yeah, that's good. And maybe the gold goes in his box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very cute. I love that. It's just up here as a little frame. Okay. That was the funniest okay. thing in a long time. Yeah, was like, was everyone knows Jimmy yeah. Cooper. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Twin, Twin Peaks. Peaks. What? <laughs> <laughs> I live there. Amanda, that's that's like totally an understandable like no, no. Yeah, that's I don't I don't I'm not I've read a lot about Twin funny. Peaks and mm -hmm. never never came across that. It was yes, the delivery yeah. that just got me. You're like, yeah, yeah, Twin Peaks. I was like, what? <laughs> is it not the Twin Peaks media property? Okay. <laughs> um, who is this sweet iguana friend? Oh man. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. So I think he's a chameleon. So there could be some like color morphing situation happening here. You gotta name mm -hmm. him first, Julia. Oh How yeah, Chester. I'm so sorry, it's Chester. Is, Amanda's is right. It's Chester. Yeah. Chester's good. Everything Amanda says from now on till the end of the stream is correct. <laughs> <laughs> we made fun of her enough with DB when Cooper. I, when I when I learn new things, that's a beautiful day for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh chester yeah what can we do about like blending in with the environment um about like raising deception uh perhaps how can how can chester help with that what if what if we do a little bit of a twist on the normal camouflage and yeah. he like lets you uh learn the language and speak the language that you need to oh, oh like he wraps around your neck and then all of a sudden you can speak whatever like a like a voice box almost yeah 
and understand it. Yeah. Brandon, I love that twist. That's really Very good. Very cute. Thank you. I w wouldn't say learn a language. I would understand, say speak yeah. a language. Yeah. Speak a language, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I love that. Mm -hmm. And I've been kind of saving one of my favorites for last in this hamster. <laughs> Is that a mm -hmm. little bit? <laughs> um, I think this has got to be a little bit. Yeah. A little All bit. Right. A little bit. No, I like the <laughs> Bray was like a little bit. <laughs> I love I the apostrophe. The, uh, you got it. Go. I got you. Bray was like uh, for the chameleon for Chester. He was like, hear me out. He climbs over someone's eyes and then didn't finish it. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> that's better. <laughs> Blinds him temporarily. Yeah. So a little bit obviously looks like he's loving life. He looks like mm -hmm. he's, you know, I got a lot you. to got a lot to say, mm -hmm. uh, makes someone else perhaps bewitches them. Maybe. Mm -hmm. um, what are we thinking about a little bit? And he's a well, hamster, despite how, uh, you know, yes. cartoonish he looks. Mm -hmm, a little mm -hmm. bit reminds me a little bit of, that's funny, didn't mean to do that, <laughs> um, of, I can't remember what Pokemon it was, but there was one Pokemon that was just in love with either, like, Brock or Ash or something mm -hmm. like that. And I think it's just like, oh, what was this, that? this familiar loves you so much. And I don't know if, uh, like, what the bonuses to that would be, but I feel like that would be very cute. Maybe, like, I'm trying to think here. Maybe it's, like, a D6 uh, roll, and one and six are both positive, but anything in the middle is, like, oh, no. He, like, ends up, uh, you know, going counter to your plans because he, like, doesn't want to be left or feels like you didn't consult him or something like that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I, I would almost flip that where it's, like, um, one and six are bad ones. Like, it's either too much or too little. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then everything in the middle, you're like, this is the right amount of love. <laughs> but what is his I, benef I, what is his Benny? What I is made the Benny? mistake, Julia, of trying to find out what the name of the Pokemon was, and I Googled Pokemon anime Pokemon oh, no. in love with human, and I oh, did not no. get what I was looking for. <laughs> I think it was the Chikorita that had a crush on Ash, maybe mm. is what I'm thinking of. Or there was also that Victory Bloom that love or Victory Bell that loves James from Team Rocket. Mm -hmm. And we just eat them all the time. That's true. Mm -hmm. uh, Brandon, I did Google Velma earlier and uh, about half the results were not safe for the stream. So yep. <laughs> you just typed Correct. in Velma? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. Internet, the internet yeah, is for me for yeah, Velma. Yeah. Calm down. Yep. Uh, this is cute. This is great. This is very A little cute. bit. Oh. Little right, bit and do... Toblerone, little yes. bit and Toblerone. Oh, Amanda, you, you came up with a, cops. I'm glad you came up with a mechanic for that because I was trying to figure out what yeah. was, what was Because I on. think, yeah, I think out of one, a little bit doesn't want to help. And so it's minus one and then six, he tries to help so much that it ends up being counter <laughs> to what you need. <laughs> yes, that's great. I think so. I love that. I yep. like that a lot. Uh, that's now, um, I do want someone chat or I do want you guys in chat to just play a campaign, but these are your player characters. Ooh, um, who would you pick? Yeah, so let me know who would you pick. Are yourself. I'm Capone. I think, I think it's DB Cooper for me. Um, yeah. I mean, I either got to be Walter or Chester. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think Chester. Yeah. Imagine if you're Walter and you like simply cannot talk during your sessions. You can. Only oh wait, I want to be. Ch I want to be Walter. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind. I changed my mind. <laughs> yeah, Brandon's been wanted to play an Arab Cogra once and was like, "Wait, so I can only make bird sounds, right?" <laughs> <laughs> That's Dude. a Kenku, my guy. I love him. I, I would shout out to the people. Like, I've seen people do that where they um, create, like, a soundboard for their Kenku characters. And they can only respond to questions or, oh, like, cool. stuff using uh, the soundboard. I think that's dope as fuck. That's yeah, great. it's, it's like, not hard mode necessarily. But it it is commitment to the bit that I find really worthwhile. Yeah. Yes. It's pretty dope. Uh, Michelle well, Spurgeon said, I be said Toblerone showing off booty is easy. <laughs> yeah, fair, yeah, fair. Not to be rude, but I do think I do think Bray would be Toblerone. Um, <laughs> I think it's I think it's very cute. Yes. Um, I don't. You know, we've gone through this entire thing, and nobody has said that my nickname should be DB Cooper because of the DB. And oh, and sound uh, level. Oh. And, and I'm kind of offended Brandon. and hurt by that. Brandon, I'm not gonna lie. 
not what I was thinking about this entire time. <laughs> Sorry, bro. If it was BG Cooper, I'd think more on account of those are your initials. Oh, Can we Cooper's call you BD Cooper? I don't know what the uh, the D stands for, but it's Brandon. Brandon, damn Cooper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's something. BD Grugel. That's, That's a thing. Damn Brandon. <laughs> Yes, I Damn, Brand. I have to go read DB Cooper's entire Wikipedia page. Is it is it cool if I like take off the last ten minutes of my shift to go do that? Yes. Amanda, you're more than welcome to. We'll all go home and read DB Cooper's Wikipedia page. Of course, because we do have to first review what we did today. Right. Uh, on the count of we have a uh, childhood faves. Turn, turn to crime. Turn <laughs> to crime. Uh, and we have to, of course, label this for the people watching later. Um, if you're not in the Join the Party Discord, that means you're not a patron, which, hey, maybe you're not in the place to do that. But the minute you can, you should, because it's a wonderful place. Mm -hmm. And we share mm -hmm. these picks afterward. Yeah. Uh, so we went through Recess, our time-traveling wizard. We have uh, Velma, our FBI, um, uh, I was going to say cons attendant consultant, uh, who is actually committing the murders. Um, and the unnamed foes, uh, I really do like these hats, um, turned <laughs> Home Alone style hackers with Digit there as he's plant sitting. I'm uh, almost I have to go certain... let Jake into the house. I will be right back. Okay. Do it. I am almost certain that the YouTube uh, title is going to be something about um, Velma in Hannibal or something. <laughs> Get those clicks. Yeah, Hannibal uh, uh, slash Velma fanfic. Yeah. <laughs> I think is my suggestion. Um, we then, uh, based on a long ago anecdote about my dentist and shape, remedial shape school, uh, we thought a little bit about what um, what dungeon puzzles might look like uh, to get you kicked out of, or maybe in order to succeed and graduate from dental school. I think it's the latter. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> uh, and then uh, we have some mundane boons uh, from a local witch. Um, I love just these. a little helpful. I do love someone familiar with the nearest animal. Uh, and of course, speaking of familiars, uh, we have our uh, favorite pals. I love. I think Davey we did Cooper. good this episode, gang. I think we genuinely did good this episode. Uh, someone used these in your campaigns at home. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to hear how they went over. Yep. And uh, if you're D.B. Cooper, you must sound like you have to go like the Doppler effect as you spin. Yeah. That's good. Oh, okay. um, oh, I thought we were just doing sassy cat noises. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. DB yeah. Cooper over here loves a sound joke, Julia. I remember mm, that. Sorry, I forgot about DB Cooper as in the decibels. Oh, yeah. We also have to say um, the multi crew drive is going on. Yes. Uh, I think we'll talk more about it next week when we get close to the end of the multi crew mm -hmm. drive. But we're excited to, we'll, we'll think of something exciting and fun for that. Uh, maybe it'll be the first 10 minutes of Mamma Mia. Who can say? <laughs> yeah. But if you don't yeah. know what that is, what is that, Julia? Well, the multi crew drive is a thing that's happening right now until October 1st, where if you sign up for the multi crew by going to multi crew.club and sign up for like an annual membership or any kind of membership, but we really appreciate annual memberships, uh, you can get some really cool rewards like a brand new mug that we're Ooh. putting out exclusively for the drive. And you can get on a plaque and get uh, immortalized in the uh, in the studio uh, here in Brooklyn. Uh, and so you could do that by going to multicrew.club and signing up today. It's good Yay. shit. It's, it's going to be fun. It's, it's a good, uh, it's a good mug. It's very yes. good. It's a good mug. I'm stoked to have it on my desk. Um, beautiful, guys. Uh, so as always, find us online. Uh, join the Party Pod on Twitter, Tumblr, uh, Instagram. If you're going to Big Bad Con uh, in San Francisco next weekend, Eric will be there, as well friend of the show, Jasper. Uh, so uh, say hi to them. Check them out. If you have LA or San Francisco food recommendations, uh, hit them up over there. Uh, and uh, as Julia mentioned, you can uh, check out the Multi Crew and the Drive and everything we're doing this uh, this fortnight at multicrew.club. It's going to be fun. It's exciting stuff. It's going to be a good time. But thank you all for spending some of your Thursday with us. We hope you have a really wonderful rest of your week and the weekend to come. Bye, Goodbye, guys. Friends.